Okay, let's move on here. We got our two ailerons cut. This is the top side of this one. This is the top side of this one. It really doesn't matter which, which one you put where. Just matter your own personal preference. Uh, this happens to be PVC uh, tape um, for hinging. There's so many different hinge techniques we could use on uh, connecting this aileron to our model. We could do uh, Z hinging. We could do uh, a tape hinge. Um, anyway, there's several different techniques out there for hinging your control surface to the airplane, but uh, this is just one I'm gonna show you today. And this is using hinge tape. You can use medical tape, uh, works for this as well. I'll put some links to some different tapes on the website. If you happen to choose this method, I'll probably even do a video with the, uh, the uh, Z hinging. So I'm just gonna pull a length of this tape uh, just a little bit longer than the aileron and just kind of line it up right on the edge there. And then tack it in place. I'll just cut this right here so I don't have that excess to play with. And then we'll tack this down into place here. along that edge and then I'm just going to bring this over to the wing side of it and I'm just going to leave about a millimeter gap or so and I am just going to attach this actually you know what before I attach it I'm going to get rid of that excess on there Same thing on the other side, we'll get rid of that excess so we don't need it. All right, so I'm just going to lay this on here about a millimeter gap between the control surface and my wing. Sometimes this helps to have two people. I'm going to bring it in just a little bit. line up the top side and the bottom side just about like that and then I'm gonna just kind of hold this in place preserve that millimeter gap let's give it a little tack in there notice I'm not tacking the whole tape down at one time. This allows me to peel it up and make adjustments wherever I'm not happy. And I think I am happy with that. So I'm going to go ahead and run my finger over it. Tack that down. We'll trim this a little bit off on the end here. Trim a little bit off on this end too. Just a little bit, not much. Okay, and our control surface flexes all the way down. Now we're gonna flip this over. I'm gonna bend this just like that. And now this is where sometimes it helps to have another person here to help because we're going to run another line of tape right there. Let's see, I'll try to do this by myself here in the video. I think I can do it. So I started a little bit of the tape. Get this in a position where I can hold this right. 
Now, I'm just going to take that. And I'm trying to get contact with the existing tape. It's already on here. Oop. Like I said, sometimes it's easier to have a helping hand here. I'm by myself today, so I'm going to, I'm bound and determined I'm going to do this. So right on, like that, tack that in place, stretch it just a little bit, not much, let it relax, bring it into place. I'll cut this edge. I know there's excess there, but we'll take care of that later. I just don't want the tape roll dangling there. And I think I'm happy with that. So I'll tack this all down just like that. Trim off our excess. And now we have a functional hinge. Here you go. I'll do the next side. All right, again, it's going to be the top side right there. So I get some hinge tape out of here. Run that all the way across. Take some of the stretch out. Oh, and I accidentally contacted that. Make sure you give yourself a little bit of overlap. Tack it down. And we'll cut off the excess on here. off the excess on this side. Uh, all right, so again, just like we did on the other side, this one, I realized I should have had it slightly at a down angle, and I'm only bringing it in here, yeah, maybe about two millimeters or so is how much I'm gonna bring that in. And this tape is forgiving, it will pull up if it accidentally attaches. So I'm just going to have it flex down slightly, preserve that one millimeter gap, right like that. I'm just going to tack that right there, lift my aileron carefully here, and now let's work it so we preserve our one millimeter gap. And again, sometimes this stuff is easier done with a second hand. Tack that down there. Tack it down. And we preserve that one millimeter gap right there. I'm gonna pull this up just a little bit because it wants to pull. Reposition that a little bit. And there we go. Doesn't want to pull, that's nice and flush. Cut this little bit off here. That's much better than the other side. I like this much better. And this tape, see I got a little bubble here. It is, you are able to peel it up. It, it's pretty forgiving. Got a little bubble there. And just run that, take that bubble out just like that. Now we'll flip this around. Now we're going to run a piece of tape on the bottom side here. Again, just I'm going to tack this in place. 
right there and I am actually trying to get a little bit of contact with the tape that's on that other side that's why we leave that one millimeter gap there relax the tape a little bit work that down we'll cut off this roll over here just so it doesn't get in the way of our work actually I got a good enough grip on that I cut it all the way back cut over here Ah, so now we have an excellent hinged surface. This side turned out really nice. I might pull this top one off and relax it a little bit uh, just because it is wanting to flex up and this one's flexing perfectly. This one is wanting to flex up a little bit so I'm just going to peel this tape back on the top. I don't want to leave it like that even though it'd probably be fine. I'm just showing you guys that even somebody like me that's been doing this stuff for years, I make mistakes or imperfections. There we go. That's relaxed more than enough. Oh, do I want to get a new piece of tape now? Maybe. Yeah, I'm going to get a new piece of tape. I'm going to redo that side. Easy enough to do. And this is perfect because now it's attached by that bottom piece of tape. It is relaxed a little bit. Relax our hinge tape here. Tack that down into place there. Oh, much better, much better. Perfect. Very nice ailerons here. Perfectly hinged. Really liking it. So there we go. Next, uh, I'm going to install the control horns. Put a little piece of packing tape on these as well. Trim it up a little bit here on this edge. Get a little piece of packing tape here. Okay, I'm back. We're gonna go over this tape here with a little bit of Gorilla packing tape. Any heavy duty tape will work just fine for this. I'm just gonna line it up here. We're not taping over the hinge. We're just securing that pack, uh, the um, hinge tape down. Reinforcing it, if you will. Do the same on the other side. Line it up. And there we go. Those aren't going anywhere. That's uh, beautifully attached, if I say myself. All right. Next part we're going to do here is attach our control horns and install our push rods. 